I'm going to show you one of the most powerful AI LLMs that you can use for your micro SaaS or SaaS right now. The model is called Gemini 1.5 Flash. And the reason that it's so powerful is because it is basically free. So they dropped the prices on August 8th. So now it's like 0 0.075 cents for a million tokens. So this essentially is free. But the most powerful thing about it is that it also has vision capabilities, which means that it can take in images and process those images and give you a response. That's why I think this model is the best, especially if you're on a budget and you need a model with vision. Let me show you one of the scripts or products I, I made recently, and I'm going to tell you guys what other projects you can make with this model to help you make money with it. The, the script that I made was basically, um, it's pretty basic, but it just goes through all these different images and it tells you the emotion of those images. So here are the images. So it's basically just Mr. Beast thumbnails. And the script that I made is it takes the image and it, it gives it to the model. Then it tells it to give the emotion. Let me just run the script and show you guys how it works. I just run main.py and this is a script. Basically it passes in the image here and then this is the prompt which is analyze the image then the script will um, re return the emotion. So the first image is joyful. The second it says is fearful. Third is distress. Um, so these are pretty accurate. And then the last one is fear. Yeah, that's like just like a quick demo of the power of this model. And again, the model is Gemini 1.5 Flash. And I think it's really useful, especially because this is like a cheap model that allows you to see the world and process images, right? So let's go over like more examples of what you can make with this model. What we can do is we can go over to Exploring Insights and just go through the different categories of the niches. So let's say we want to create a SaaS in the UX design niche. So we just go into UX design and probably I can take an idea and I'll make a super basic app in this video as well. But let's just brainstorm some ideas that you can make, right? The main power of this model, again, is that it has vision. What you can do is here are some of the services that are already making money. A lot of it is like making mockups and designs. So just brainstorming, what you can do is maybe you can take a design of a website and then give it to the model and then tell it to rate, rate it and give suggestions of how you can improve the site, right? Let's just do that right now. So you can just screenshot the site. What you can do is you can screenshot this and then just pass it into the model. So just put it into your script and just say dummy image and then let's just change this, right? So this is using cursor, take dummy image .py, PNG and ask Gemini to give improvements to the UX. This is like just a really basic example of how you, you can use the vision power of this model. Again, you can use this for all types of niches. Let's say you're in the real estate niche, right? Um, you could have this model rate the house that you're trying to buy, or let's say you're in the car niche. Like you can ask the model to rate the type of car it is and see if it's going to be a good bargain to buy, right? So um, just like riffing ideas. Oh yeah, here is the um, script that it generated. So it's going through and passing in the image, then it's going to use this prompt, which is analyze this UI image and suggest three concise improvements. So let's just run the script and see if it is working. So it's processing the image right now. And yeah, so here are the three suggestions. Here is the image again for reference and suggesting to a visual hierarchy, clear CTA or Azure, right? So this is uh, probably like too, too basic to, to sell as a product, but it's just an example to show you guys what's possible with this model. So let's just go through and find some other micro SaaS ideas that you can uh, create with this model, especially since it has vision capabilities. So let's go into tattoo design. This is a pretty big niche because a lot of people have tattoos. So let's see what you can do with tattoos. As we go through, here are like all the ideas plus the um, revenue already generated with this idea. A lot of it is like um, drawing a handmade tattoo or um, creating tattoos. So let's imagine like what you can do. So what you can do is first take the pain point and then convert it into a product that solves that pain point. Here's the pain point. Like the person might want a unique or custom design tattoo that reflects their personal style or interest. So what you can do is you can ask the person to give images or give inspiration of what 
really represents them and then use this model to generate tattoo ideas. So let's say I'm really into League of Legends. I like biking, I like traveling, right? So you take all those images, give it to the model and then tell it to process the image. And then you can tell it to generate tattoo ideas that would best represent tattoos that I might like. And then you can obviously make it way more personal. So let's say the person um, inputs a bunch of images and it's from their family. And then the AI notices that they really like the dog. You can just process a lot of images and come up with insights with this model. So yeah, that's probably a really scuffed idea, but um, just riffing off the top. That's the thing. And then what you can do after you create the script is you can take the script and then make a web app off of it. So this at the moment is just a Python script. Afterwards, if I got validation, I would just turn this into a full web app on the framework of your choice. So let's say you really like, you really like JavaScript, right? So you can um, convert this into a Next.js app. That part isn't as, or let's say you're really in Python, you convert this into a Flask or Django app, right? So that's the next step after you get validation that your script actually provides value and is solving a problem. So that's the end of this video. Check it out and let me know if you guys create anything with the script and I'll see you guys next time.